Okay, now over to Matt and Senator Blanche Lincoln. Well, thanks a lot, Mallory. Well, the House and Senate, they're poised to pass a financial reform bill. It's a hard-fought and long-awaited win for the Obama White House. However, proposed legislation has left unanswered questions about what these reforms for the banking system as we know it are all about. And here to help answer some of these questions is Senator Blanche Lincoln, who helped craft the bill. And good morning to you. Good morning. Before we get to the bill, we want to talk about Senator Byrd. He passed away early this morning, uh, and uh, he's been a stalwart in the, in the uh, House and the Senate since the 50s. I know he's had an influence on you. What are your, what's your reaction to oh, this? He was just this? a remarkable American. Um, if you look at his upbringing and where he came from, his roots, um, meager beginnings, and then um, to have studied, seen the value of education, hard work, um, and then the, uh, the contributions to this country are just phenomenal. So it is a real loss to our nation, but we've all learned from mm -hmm. him. Um, everyone from, you know, long-serving senators to the pages. Um, you know, he loved the pages. He was always took the time to visit with them and talk to them. Um, and, in, and new members. I can remember, um, you know, just my first year in the United States Senate going in, sitting down, visiting with him, talking to him about things. Um, he was really an, a remarkable individual. All right, he will be missed. We don't have a whole lot of time, so I want to get to this bill here. Mm -hmm. uh, the lot, uh, there's so much to cover in a bill like this, but we, and we, since we only have a short time, let me talk about this derivatives thing real quickly, because mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people understand exactly what that is. And mm -hmm. maybe to summarize, it's a, it's a financial contract between a couple of parties based upon what the future uh, value on a particular asset will be uh, on down the road. And, and that is largely, and we call those things futures, we call them swaps, we call them options. Well, they're all a little and bit the, different, but they're, they're all derivatives. And they're all unregulated mm -hmm. at this point. How does this change that? Well, it regulates them. How um, so? For the first time, you'll have 100% transparency in what's happened. Uh, derivatives are something that derive their value from something else. And certainly in this marketplace for the last... 15 years when it has grown so tremendously to about a $600 trillion notional value, we didn't know what was out there. It was a dark market because it was unregulated, it was unreported. Now we have 100% transparency, which means um, real-time reporting. We actually know mm -hmm. what's going on in that market. So when those contracts, as you mentioned, and those trades happen, um, instead of just one party, if, you're, if you know someone that wants to buy something and somebody that wants to sell it, you're the only one that knows what each one wants to sell it or buy it for. Now we know all of that. It'll be posted, exchange trading. Um, it will be, um, um, uh, you know, not only exchange traded, but it'll have to mm -hmm. be cleared. Most of these will have to be cleared. So it gives us greater certainty and greater understanding of what these products are. I, I have a couple more questions for you, okay. but we have to hit our weather well, on the fours. it's not an easy one. <laughs> so let, yeah, let me get to, to Greg D. right now. He's got to look at our weather on the fours, and then we'll come back to you. Just sure. Okay. Thanks a lot, Greg. Well, I, I want to break this down for folks at home because it is kind of complicated. If I have a credit card in my, in my wallet uh, and, and this is going to have some credit card reforms, some mortgage reforms, how specifically is this going to help me out? Well, first of all, from, the, from what we did in the portion of the bill that I worked on, you won't have the volatility in the marketplace with uh, things like energy. So all of the volatility that we've seen in gas prices should go away, um, in energy prices as well. The fact that we put it risk. Um, I know, for instance, our, our boys and their college fund, which took a huge dive, our retirement plans, it took a huge dive. So for retirees, that's all an issue. In terms of credit cards, um, what has happened in the past is that credit card companies have not um, really, uh, for retailers and for the consumer, um, they haven't had to have a contract necessarily, and you don't know what the stipulations are on those credit cards. Now you'll have to have more transparency there as well. So I think that's going to mean a good bit to to the consumer because it's going to mean that, that retailers and, and others um, for um, debit cards mm -hmm. I don't use debit cards but a lot of people do um, the fact is is when you go in and use your debit card and you buy a pack of gum the transaction fee is oftentimes more than the pack of gum so I think it's going to be able to put a, a greater balance into what we're doing I think it's going to really help our financial system one of the things that was not addressed specifically in this bill was the regulation as it relates to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and, and many uh, point the finger at that specifically for the, the, the cause of this financial crisis. Why was that not addressed? Well, there was some of that that was addressed, probably not to the greatest degree that we saw in, in some of the other areas of the bill. Um, and the GSEs are a problem that we do understand that there's an issue there. I think uh, reining back in some of the, the monies that we've got there um, and certainly their ability to, to do anything. Mm -hmm. 
um, is, is reined back in there as well. Okay, one final question before I let you go. Uh, Elena Kagan, she's going to start her confirmation process today. What are your uh, feelings about Elena Kagan? Well, she's a very genuine person. She's very smart. I think it's interesting and, and I think uh, I think positive that um, she's not someone that comes with a long line of history from the from the bench. I think it's good to have a diversity on the courts in terms of both um, legal minds that have practiced, but also legal minds um, on the bench, legal minds that have been in corporate America, and, and a whole host of different things. So I think you know, what's really interesting positive. is that she said, uh, I guess, 10, 15 years ago, that this whole process is vapid because those those nominees never reveal too much about their judicial philosophy. Well, now she's going to be on the other side of this argument, and she's going to have to answer some of those questions, or maybe not. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to see well, what Well, I happens. think they do have to be cautious about um, commenting on current cases or things that they might be um, dealing with in, in many instances. But I think they do have to give you a good idea. And we'll be listening in her hearings to find right. out exactly what she's, what she's all about. Senator Lincoln, thanks so much for making the time to join us this you morning. Bet. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right, when we come back, Greg's going to have your weather on the floor, so stick around. Time now is uh, 618. KARK4 Weather, brought to you by Middleton Heat and Air, Arkansas's best heating and air company. Middleton is here for you, season after season, year.